Plans for sweeping changes to how Birmingham City Council is run have been revealed today. A report by Sir Bob Kerslake has warned the authority must radically improve if it's to deliver the services residents of Birmingham deserve. The review stops short of breaking up the council but does recommend cutting the number of councillors and pushing ahead with plans to create a new Greater Birmingham and Black Country Super Authority. Elizabeth Glinker reports. The largest authority in Europe is responsible for a billion pounds of spending every year. But from high-profile child protection deaths and the weakness of its children's services to mistakes over equal pay or the Trojan horse inquiry, it's been beset by failure and criticism. Now the Kerslake report says it's clear that Birmingham City Council is not capable of improving on its own. These are deep-rooted issues that go back over a number of years and it follows that they're not going to be easy or straightforward to tackle. Uh, it's got to be led by the council but we feel quite strongly that you need to have an independent improvement panel that, if you like, holds the council's feet to the fire. Despite speculation that the authority could have been broken up, the report puts this aside, making 11 recommendations, including a new board of outside advisers to support and challenge the leadership, an aim to reduce the number of councillors and hold all-out elections every four years, and push ahead with plans to create a new super council to rival Greater Manchester, involving the Black Country and Solly Hull. The council's leadership team says it welcomes the report but is concerned by the lack of flexibility. This isn't so much about have we got the wrong people at all, this is much more about you haven't really tackled some of the really difficult issues that you need to tackle, now make sure that you do so. And we're, we're up for that, we, we recognise that and we want to get on and, and get past all this kind of constant reviewing that's slowing us down from making progress. There's a perception from the outside that Birmingham City Council isn't listening, things don't get better and the problems seem to go on and on. It's fine for us uh, to have a searchlight or a spotlight put on the City Council and for us to know the things that we need to do better on, but then to set out a, a way in which we, we should then uh, react, uh, that prescription I think is rather uh, concerning. The council has been given 12 months in which to make progress, but that must be achieved against a backdrop of austerity. The new budget is being announced on Wednesday. Having cut around £400 million in the last four years, it's expected a similar sum will have to be saved in the coming parliament. Elizabeth Glinker, BBC Midlands Today, Birmingham. Well, I'm joined now by the leader of Birmingham City Council, Sir Albert Ball. Good evening. Good evening. Do you accept the findings of this report? We've said that uh, there are five of the 11 findings that we can almost uh, put in place immediately. Uh, there is another five where we will have to give some consideration to the issues that are raised. We need some discussion with partners and uh, residents over some of those recommendations. And there is an 11th recommendation, which is the good news one, about uh, bringing uh, different government agencies together with the City Council uh, to introduce a skills and employment initiative in East Birmingham. The report makes it clear that um, it doesn't believe the council is capable of improving on its own. It talks about bringing in this improvement panel. Will a new board of outsiders undermine your authority? No, look, uh, let, let me start by saying uh, I, along with the Secretary of State, uh, invited this uh, review. Uh, so uh, I was expecting certain things to be said uh, and I'm looking for external support and guidance uh, on how to take forward the sort of recommendations that we now have to implement. But do you think this, this improvement it, panel is the right way to go about that? I, I th whether it's an improvement panel or an individual who is working in our support uh, remains yet to be seen. Uh, we've had those discussions this morning with Bob Kerslake, uh, but I would welcome that external uh, support because I do think uh, that will help us move the agenda on at a faster pace than we'd otherwise do. It sounds as though you, you're not wholeheartedly welcoming and accepting this, this panel idea then from Sir Bob Kerslake. No, it's a conversation uh, Bob Kerslake, myself and the Chief Executive of the City Council had earlier today uh, and we were... How is over. that resolved? Oh, we've, we'll talk next week is how it was resolved, but uh, it may be that uh, it will be a panel. It might be easier to work with an individual mm -hmm. just as we're working with uh, Lord Warner on children's safeguarding and Sir Mike Tomlinson on education. Mm. You say you'll talk next week, but isn't this part of the problem that actually talking's all very well but there's got to be action things are going to happen because the report also warned that there is a danger of Birmingham losing its second city status if, if it doesn't going to move on and do things 
well, look, I've never considered Birmingham to have second city status. We're the first city outside of London, uh, and we're not going to lose that status at all. Uh, I think, actually, Birmingham is doing rather well at the moment. But it's, make, it's making some serious points here. It's saying, actually, that cities such as Manchester, Sheffield, Leeds, they're stealing a march on Birmingham. Doesn't that worry you? Have a look at the economic evidence that was presented. It was 2010 to 2012. If you look at the recent economic evidence in terms of jobs being created, in terms of foreign inward investment, we are now outperforming the other regions of the UK. So you don't accept that? You don't accept that, that actually that these, these cities, the northern powerhouse, are stealing the, a march? There was a period uh, in the last part of the, in the last decade and early in this decade where indeed we were losing position. In the last couple of years, I think I think we've turned that around. Okay. Sir Albert Ball, thank you. An independent inquiry is to be held into Shrewsbury's crematorium's failure to recover ashes following